This is the all new cosmic desktop environment Alpha 6 and it's making a lot of noise in the Linux community. With its cutting edge design, blazing fast performance, thanks to Rust and a revolutionary user experience, Cosmic is all geared up to shake the Linux world like never before. I've been playing with this system and honestly, there's a lot to love here. Futuristic design aesthetics, superb performance and the killer tiling and workspace feature that made us love popwares. At the same time, there are some serious issues that nobody's talking about. So let's jump right in with the all new Cosmic Desktop environment and see if it's the next big thing in Linux or a glorified tech demo that looks great on paper but falls apart under real world use. Let's start off by taking a look at the design language and the aesthetics of the new Cosmic Desktop. Let me start off by saying that Cosmic Desktop that we see here at the moment is still in alpha, it's still being developed and this might not be the final final form that we get with the stable release. The first thing that you notice here is this clean and modern design. The bottom dock, the top panel, the buttons here, it's all kept very simple. Even with the new Cosmic Desktop, PopOS keeps the vibe going on. One thing to note here is, Cosmic Desktop, it doesn't deviate too much from the GNOME Desktop and it makes sense. PopOS original audience used GNOME. So they had to build something that maintained a familiarity to GNOME Desktop so that the users don't feel completely alienated. And GNOME does have a good user interface layout. It's tried and tested. Cosmic looks fresh and it has clean aesthetics and overall this is a very streamlined interface. The design is both simple and modern. Moving on, it's not just the looks that are modern. The code that powers Cosmic Desktop is new too. The thing is, Cosmic Desktop doesn't rely on old frameworks and technologies just for the sake of backwards compatibility or legacy support. No, System76 made the bold decision to break away from aging tech stacks entirely. And since Cosmic is not based on any pre-existing desktop, they could make that decision to build Cosmic from the ground up with modern and advanced technologies baked into its code. From its user interface built with Iced, a cutting edge Rust GUI library, to its compositor powered by Smithe. Cosmic utilizes tools specifically designed to thrive in a valent first ecosystem. This approach means Cosmic isn't weighed down by decades of technical debt like X11 does for GNOME and other desktops. This enables faster development, better security and more responsive performance. Because of these reasons, Cosmic Desktop doesn't have to concern itself with porting over or making compatible older technology to today, but focus on the future of this Linux desktop. Cosmic Desktop environment initially started just as an enhancement layer on top of the GNOME Desktop environment. Little bit of theming and some GNOME extensions added on top. But System76, after wanting something else and something more than what GNOME had to offer, quickly set out to build an independent desktop environment built entirely from scratch using the Rust programming language. Rust is popular in creating high performance software, making it an ideal choice for Cosmic Desktop where efficiency, memory safety and responsiveness are key priorities. By leveraging Rust programming languages, advanced memory management and performance oriented features, Cosmic is set to redefine user experiences on Linux. And we are already seeing Cosmic perform noticeably snapper than the standard GNOME desktop, even in its alpha state. Rust's memory safety features, coupled with Ice's lightweight design, enables Cosmic to offer a snappy and responsive user experience. It runs fluid on even moderately powered computers. Rust gives a competitive edge to Cosmic Desktop. Pop OS evolution from an extension-heavy GNOME Frankenstein to a full-fledged Rust-powered, performance-boosted desktop is a phenomenal journey. It's about performance, precision, and pushing boundaries. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Alright, let's dive into one of Cosmic Desktop's biggest standout features, its powerful tiling system. Now if you've used tiling managers before, you understand how powerful they can be for productivity. At the same time, tiling is not for everybody. But here, right from the get-go, you notice how intuitive and seamless the tiling experience is. Cosmic Desktop brings a powerful auto-tiling mechanism that smartly arranges your application windows the moment you enable it from this little applet, without any extra effort from your side. 
toggle it on and immediately your screen becomes organized and optimized for screen real estate. Let me give you a quick rundown of how it works here. You can either use the toggle switch here or just press super plus Y to switch between floating and tile layouts for your current workspace. Different workspaces have independent tiling settings. That's cool. While the windows are automatically tiled, you can go ahead and drag windows to screen edges or other windows to snap them into tiles. If you prefer keyboard, you can use the super plus arrow keys to move focus between different tile windows. You can also resize the tiles by dragging the gaps between windows. This tiling mechanism also allows stacking multiple windows in a single tile and switching between them using tabs just like in your browser. Drag a window over another tile window while holding the super key to create a stack. I'm a huge tiling guy. I absolutely love it. I absolutely need it. And I felt that Cosmic Desktop is delivering in that sweet spot where I'm getting the features and flexibility to get some work done while not overly complicating things here. Even though it's so new, Cosmic provides extensive customization options. The settings application is the all-in-one destination for all personalization. Unlike GNOME, you don't have to install additional applications to tweak things here. In the settings app, under the desktop tab, we get all the options and features well organized under different sections. You can switch between light and dark modes, select different accent colors, and even adjust the overlay style of desktop elements. You can see that the settings can get explicit. Both the bottom dock and top panel can be customized deeply. You have to appreciate the fine grain control you are getting over the elements here. In addition, you can configure things like what happens when you press the super button, this active window hint, window control buttons, maximize and minimize, workspaces, and a lot more. And it's not just customization settings. Even in all the other tabs here, we get in-depth control over the settings. This desktop has not even hit beta and the scaling options here are better than some decade old desktops. The settings here let you create a workspace that truly aligns with your preferences and needs. I really appreciate the depth here. Tell me what you feel about this. Do you think the customization options given here are enough for a desktop that doesn't have custom theming capabilities, at least at the moment? Use the comment section below. I feel that this is just enough. Anything more and it would be overwhelming. I started using the workspaces feature on my Mint quite late, but once I started using it, I was absolutely hooked. I was, again, surprised by the availability of such robust and flexible workspace management system on Cosmic Desktop. This looks heavily inspired by GNOME's workspaces. By default, Cosmic utilizes dynamic workspace, which automatically create a new workspace when an application is moved to the next available one and automatically removes empty workspaces. This ensures that we have as many or as few workspaces as needed without having to manually set it up. Cosmic Desktop plays really well with multiple monitors. Here, we get two distinct workspace behaviors. Firstly, workspaces span on the displays. Then, Cosmic lets each display to have its own set of workspaces, allowing independent workspace switching on each monitor. This is really cool. In addition, you can also choose between horizontal and vertical orientation for workspaces. I really like the horizontal ones. Maybe because of my familiarity to GNOME workspaces. Cosmic supports both mouse-driven and keyboard-driven navigation for workspaces. With this comprehensive workspace management feature, it lets us create our own workflows and be really productive. Here's something that you might have not expected. Cosmic Desktop is not exclusively available on just Pop! OS. Yeah, while this desktop was originally designed for Pop! OS and still is, System76 is putting in the effort to make it accessible to users on many other Linux distributions as well. Yeah, even if you don't use Pop! OS, you can still experience Cosmic's modern, feature-rich interface on other systems like Fedora, NixOS, Arch Linux, OpenSUSE, and a few more. In fact, there's an official Fedora spin with Cosmic Desktop in the works as we speak. This is something that we see and love to see in the world of Linux. System76 is making sure that Cosmic Desktop is not locked down to just Pop! OS. No, they are opening the doors wide for other distros to jump in. Allowing different distributions to package Cosmic OS means that developers and users can tailor the desktop environment to their specific needs. This modularity supports experimentation and personalization, and potential developmental contributions back to Cosmic Desktop. And by not restricting Cosmic to Pop! OS, they are positioning it to potentially become a standard desktop experience on Linux. 
even when Cosmic Desktop is a brand new desktop environment and we may expect not many applications to be curated for Cosmic Desktop, you will actually be surprised by the bundle selection of default apps. The most impressive one being Pop Shop, the integrated application store in PopOS. Now Pop Shop debuted in PopOS even before the inception of Cosmic Desktop, but it's not the same old Pop Shop in terms of code, it's just the same name. This software center here is a very simple application with categories on the left side and the applications on the right. How fast and responsive this application is, it's seriously mind blowing. Forget GNOME software, no other software manager, maybe except for Synaptic comes even close to how responsive this is. This is fairly simple to use and supports both .deb packages as well as flat packs. This has automatic updates and a very good package management experience. Then we get Cosmic Files for seamless and efficient file management here. It provides essential functionality such as file browsing, copying, moving and deletion. It also supports a comprehensive set of keyboard shortcuts to make things faster. We also get a custom created terminal application here that's quite powerful as well. It has integrated search, tabs and window splitting. Then we get a text editor called Cosmic Text. This is very minimal in design but has features like syntax highlighting, search and replace and basic programming support. We also get a screenshot tool that lets you, well, take screenshots. With Cosmic, they are not just building a desktop but a complete high performance ecosystem and all these applications that we just saw are created using Rust and they fit in nicely here. One huge advantage of Cosmic Desktop is that it is built exclusively for the Valent Display Server, which all the desktops are migrating to now. Cosmic doesn't have the legacy constraints of needing to support X11. This deliberate design choice allows Cosmic to use the full power of modern protocols, resulting in smoother rendering, enhanced security, and robust support for technologies like multi-monitor support. On the other hand, Pretty much every other desktop environment including GNOME and KDE Plasma built their code bases to support X11 initially and have since added Valent support. This means they have to carry legacy code and compatibility layers that can and do complicate and slow down development. Cosmic just avoids this legacy baggage. Visually, this might not mean much to the everyday user but from a technical point of view, the difference is heaven and earth. While Cosmic Desktop is shaping up into something brilliant, we have to understand that it's still shaping up and may not be fully usable right now. As of today, Cosmic is still in its alpha phase. That means it's still under active development and it may contain bugs or incomplete features and it feels very rough around edges here and there. For example, we don't get tooltips when we hover over these icons and tooltips are actually missing in many parts. That's a huge bugger for someone who's trying to use a new desktop, isn't it? Things like GPU rendering is still in the works. But these things are obviously to be expected in an alpha version of a product. I mean it's still under development, it's just too common. In fact, I wouldn't be wrong in saying that Cosmic Desktop is too polished to be in alpha state because I didn't face any experience breaking bugs. And despite its alpha status, the development of Cosmic Desktop is going on very fast with System76 releasing multiple alpha versions over the past few months each introducing new functionality and improvements. Seriously, they are moving so fast that it's quite impressive. But understand that this is not to be used as your daily driver right now, at least not if you are running mission critical systems. Whether you are moving from Windows to Ubuntu or migrating from GNOME to KDE, every user interface transition comes with a set of challenges that can make it chaotic and it's going to be the same once Cosmic rolls out to the general public. There is going to be a learning curve here, new UI, new workflow and even the smallest change like opening the menu or maybe some keyboard shortcuts can throw off years of muscle memory and when that happens, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. But the biggest challenge Cosmic Desktop environment is going to face is the human factor. We humans, we just hate change. Our brains don't like it when we change the UI after using the same system for years now. But since Cosmic Desktop is similar to GNOME, at least at the first glance, I think this transition is going to be quite smooth for many people. But yeah, the friction that we talked about, it's going to come in the way of Cosmic Desktop's success. While Cosmic Desktop represents a bold reimagination of the Linux desktop by System76, it should be noted that GNOME still remains popular and probably will even after Cosmic comes out. GNOME Desktop has a vast extension library, a mature theming system and the robust GTK toolkit which absolutely dominates the Linux app development ecosystem. GNOME has been around for a long time, a very long time. 
While System76 started developing Cosmic, citing limitations of GNOME extensions, that very same GNOME is going to be the biggest competitor of Cosmic desktop environment. How this competition is going to turn out is to be seen yet. I guess we'll just have to wait and watch. It's going to be interesting. We saw some huge reasons why Cosmic Desktop is going to be an absolute game changer. And we also saw some potential deal breakers. But personally, I'm really excited for Cosmic Desktop. I'm excited about a Rust based desktop environment that's promising to deliver improved performance and modern design in the same package. And by the pace of development that's going on at System76, I think the stable release is very near after beta version or maybe two. These are exciting times to be a Linux user. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you are interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. By the way, it's not just Cosmic that's been dropping new releases. Even GNOME is preparing for a huge release. GNOME 48 is on its way with some big changes and improvements. I made a complete video on it, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.